Mr. Rumspringer. Rumspringer podcast. Hey, guess who's off their period <laughs> or on their period? I don't know. It's Greg Chaley's goddamn birthday. So this rehab just went out of rehab. And honestly, it's only like four, four or five drinks in six hours. We're fucking hammered. Oh, and we we need a bottle opener. Oh, I got I, I got a bottle opener. Please hold. Fuck, I don't. You Wait, don't have no, one. Yo, no, we oh! do. No. Oh, look, that's Ch- lady. This is on my. That is on my table of props. Check this out. Okay. Check this out. All right. Uh, Corkscrew bottle opener. Don't male, play to female. The yeah, yeah. All right. It holds together. Chaley, Jeep. Shit, I oh dropped the one God. I needed. God, God damn it. I don't have a drink. Here, hit pause. Look. Hit pause. Hit the gut. Oh, I know where it is. Please hold. All right. We found all our equipments, uh, including a beer, a lighter, and an ashtray. This is the key to quitting smoking. Do not be afraid to smoke. Honestly, after last night's podcast, uh, today is uh, the day 17 podcast. And yeah, after last night's podcast, I had that fucking pack of cigarettes. Evil E, Gretchen, left a pack of cigarettes. We took one night off. We went to Pino Saltos. We spent me some bromance time, me and Chaley reading books. Up man, in Pino's. man silence. Man silence. It. it was fucking wonderful. And when I got back into my fucking tin can rehab trailer, Evil E had been in there and left a fucking full pack of Marlboro uh, 100s. Say, I came by to temp you. She misspelled. She didn't put the last T on tempt. Temp you. And I left those in there. And then last night, I smoked one. I talked to Brendan fucking Walsh on the telephone. He's smoking cigarettes. I was drunk off two drinks, actually three drinks at that point. Manhattan's. But I was drunk off two Manhattans. <laughs> now we're shit faced off four, f- five drinks, whatever. Well, counting it's the Chaley's one, birthday. the one in your hand is the fifth one. Well, that's full. It's yeah. not been touched. My lips have not. My lips have not. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I went off the rails. I smoked a cigarette, then I took that pack of uh, Marlboro One Hundreds. Put it back in Evil E's mailbox over on Hazard and said, just so you know, you did not tempt me whatsoever. That's why I'm returning this pack of cigarettes unopened, untouched with every cigarette accounted for. Even though there's one missing, it's open and there's a cigarette butt and a lighter in it, (laughs) in the envelope. (laughs) So, yeah, I smoked a cigarette. That's the thing. The key to quitting smoking cigarettes is if you fuck up and you smoke, don't go, well, I ruined it, so now I'm a smoker again. No, just you you smoked a cigarette. Yeah, and then you still are are quit. Now I'm smoking one more cigarette (laughs) to prove the point. So in less than 24 hours, that's three. Whatever. The point is, now now I go into deep cover tomorrow. Either way. <laughs> Deep cover tomorrow? Deep cover tomorrow, yeah. You won't see me again. Double you secret used, probation? You used your birthday to finagle me. <laughs> All right. Gretchen drove us <laughs> home. All right, let's see, let's get to some beats. I have some notes. And there's you- some people. Whoever sent this fucking T-shirt, I thought it was actually maybe this T-shirt already existed. Someone sent, hang on, hold, hold it up. Rape trailer. Yeah. Someone who knows their business sent here. This will go out. The rape trailer. That's a hundred percent. The rape trailer T-shirt. You're a fucking. You're you're a wizard, sir. That's good. Because I, I I you 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 pushed my hand. You have forced my hand into wearing this in public. <laughs> I remember getting shit. We're actually coming back with the uh, the abortion is green. Someone actually got my face wearing the abortion is green. Like t-shirt. aggro. Like Ad- 
in yeah. in line to board a plane <laughs> where you're like, do you really want to get on this plane? You want to start a fight? And you're yeah. drunk yeah. Or, or buzzed going onto a plane. It was daylight. It was, yeah. Oh, so so you had sushi and you were buzzed. Right. <laughs> Either way, the guy, he shut his fucking mouth quickly because <laughs> I started throwing down some facts <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Saying it with confidence is everything. Um, All right, what else is in the fucking notes? Because we got to make this quick because we're have too notes? drunk. Yeah, I gave you notes. Uh, what did you go over so far? Hang on. Oh, uh, gifts. No, no, right. no, you have more yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, the get the other the thing. This is the one I have to plug. Oh, that book. I gave it to Gretchen. This fucking thing. This guy actually, he he sent this a while ago. And I, I looked through it and I go, oh, oh, this is not actually from a Bible school. <laughs> the Perry Bible Fellowship. What's it called? It's called The Trial of Colonel Sweeto. <laughs> And it looks like a children's... Uh, it looks like the cover of Shoots and Ladders, that game. But... Like, like Candyland. Candyland. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> like, I, I knew it was funny, and it wound up down with you. And fortunately, that guy emailed me and said, Hey, did you ever get that? I'm like, oh, you, the thing... I, yeah, it's down at the other house. And I <laughs> grabbed it. <laughs> And I fucking read it on the shitter this morning. I just, all I can say, fucking go out and find the trial of Colonel Sweeto. Like my fan base can spell Colonel. There's no <laughs> R in it. I'll give you, that's a hint. Wait, I thought it started with a K. And other <laughs> stories. It's fucking brilliant. It's, uh, it, it, yeah, it's this guy. He probably doesn't exist anymore. This guy probably killed himself, but it's fucking excellent. And there's other shit that came in. I was going to try to address everyone, but those are the two things I have to address. And now let's uh, move on to, God damn it. I've had a good life for the last two weeks. And then, yeah, this 28-hour period, has ruined everything, but don't worry. I'm going hey, right. Don't don't be afraid to, to smoke. Exactly. All right. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, I started smoking gate. No, you smoked a fucking cigarette or two. Don't worry about it. Fucking go right back to where you were. That's what rehab's all about. Don't go. Oh, oh, I, I, I did, I did the wrong thing. So I'm gonna buy fucking eight cartons and eight cases of beer. I'm going off the rails. No, you just yeah. I'm on a diet. You know what? I ate a gummy bear. So now, obviously, I can't control my diet. So I'm just going to go sit at Gus the Greeks and eat pizza after pizza because I ate a gummy. No, just fucking go back to good. Jesus. But there's a chance he might not serve you. So <laughs> you could still be on your diet. That fucking. All right. I, I have your, your notes here that you. Yeah. You. Uh. You told me at dinner. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead because you you got some angst working up. No. What? All right, Lindy text. Oh, oh, this Gretchen. Gretchen was Gretchen was all right. This is so See, good, Gretchen. All right. This is Lindy, whiskey girl's sister. All right. So she was listening to my uh, my dumb thing I did at city council. It was, uh, the call to the public that you did that was on last night's podcast. We put that on. Yeah, that, you can listen that to went the three out. minute three three oh one. Okay, okay. So so Lindy, whiskey girl sister, is it up in Wyoming? Shush. Why is that woman talking? I don't know. She should be making drinks. I know. God damn it! No, no. We're trying to do this without fucking. This is uh, why we printed out. God damn and it! You refuse to do it, Lindy. Here we go. This is, we don't want to, uh, Chaley should not have to edit. I wish, okay, that's what the next one. This, this is from Lindy. I wish the following conversation was made up. I was listening to you rant on and on about plastic bags in a video on Facebook. Cut to her daughter, who's like three or six or four. Six. 
I don't think it's not three. It's not three. It, it's they're still they're not older than five. Okay, then so five. The the older one, obviously. Hollis, he's saving children, mom. <laughs> That's a big deal. I had no idea bags could kill us, and he's getting rid of bags. Is he the best person? And then she says, um, no, Hollis. <laughs> and Hollis says, oh, well, he's a loud talker. <laughs> See, I'm reaching people with my art. You're trying. You're trying. And then the first thing someone, know. someone superficially related to you says is, no, he's not a good person. <laughs> the first thing she says is, no. Not the yeah. That's the first thing she says is no, and then her, the next thing is texting me the entire transcript <laughs> of the conversation where she said no. You know what? I here's where I told my daughter you're not a good person. This is an exact transcript. <laughs> that will be the entire transcript will be available on dougstanhope.com. All right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say. And I, I, during that uh, diatribe, I, I saw a segue, and now it's gone. But today, someone did uh, tweet, has anyone noticed that uh, Doug Stanhope seems to be dropping some Bill Burr, where he pauses before a word and then accentuates the word? Absolutely. I have to fucking, I've caught myself so many times because I binge listen to Bill Burr podcasts when we're on the road we'll listen to three four months of bill burr in four or five days of just yeah constant on the road okay more bill burr bill burr bill. so yeah anytime there's a boston accent my father used to say and so i do that around the house and i've caught myself doing it on the podcast where i go oh fuck don't you can't affect a boston accent yeah yeah, absolutely. Where were you born? Worcester. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. This is a, it's a Bill Burr. This is a Monday morning podcast, and uh, it's fucking. I've been, I, I've been out on the road, and uh, it's fucking killer. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I found where I can do a perfect Bill Burr if I'm shit faced enough. <laughs> but yeah, no, absolutely. Yes, I tried to not be Bill Burr. When I fucking started doing comedy, I tried not to sound like Andrew Dice Clay. And now I try to not sound like Bill Burr on the podcast. That's why I have to have Chaley here, because if I talk by myself, I would be <laughs> weird. I don't. All right. I'm trying. Now I'm trying. All right. What's up, everybody? It's a fucking. It's, it's a Bill Burr podcast. It's a uh, fucking. February 29th. There's no February 29th. <laughs> All right. It's a Thursday. It's a Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, everything was great out there. I went to Singapore <laughs> and it was great. I was in Mumbai. <laughs> you didn't like that. I fuck. I was angry. Bill Burr, I was fucking angry at you. No, when I told you. Because you said something about it, and I said, "No, no, yeah, Bill Burr." He just oh, I was just angry that he was at because I booked that weird flight to Singapore yeah. and didn't take it, and and you go, "Oh, Bill Burr was just in Singapore," but no, no, he tried to go see that that, that no, pool. that's well, we listened to the fucking last four podcasts when we up went up to the mountains, and no, he, that was a hotel. There's a swimming pool in the airport. Oh, I, I he, did say that. Yeah, I, well, you were wrong. I was wrong. The point is, but I yeah. said I, 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 he was talking about going the to a... The point is, he went to fucking Singapore, <laughs> and then he went to fucking Mumbai, and we listened to him, and he's so positive. He's like, uh, and he's talking about it the same way I would talk about India. The thought of going to India is so repulsive to me. It's just crowded fucking nonsense and kidney stealing and all sorts of <laughs> shit. And he's like, I, I, I'll go back. You can hear him describing it. Knowing he fucking hated every living, but he's doing it positive. And you're like, no, no, you hated it. everything you're saying is how awful it is. No, but the people were great. So I'll definitely go back. Fuck you. You, <laughs> 
You yeah, you will go back, but you hated it and you won't admit it. <laughs> I hate pasta people <laughs> when you don't mean it. So you catch yourself talking like Bill Burr, and now you're repeating the Bill Burr podcast, smoking a cigarette. Hey. Hey people, it's uh. <laughs> hey, let, let me let, let me get to some copy here. Sorry, I'm enjoying the what was fuck that? out of this cigarette. What was that? Was that inhale? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm smoking a goddamn American spirit that Chaley put away for me in case I panicked. And all right, yeah. You're welcome. Hey, you know what? Anyone who got cancer from from smoking uh, three cigarettes in a month, please contact me and tell me that uh, uh, warn me about the downfalls. Tell them how tell them how it turned out. All right, there's one more note in there. No, or Mi- maybe there's not. Uh, Mishka UK dates. Oh fucking I- Mishka Shibali! Hey, remember back when this podcast was only weekly, and. Uh, and it started with no, I don't remember. The potato that. peelings <laughs> in the sink did not turn into vodka as I had hoped. Am I the only one drinking tonight? Fuck Mishka Shibali. I can I can vouch for his entire repertory of songs. He's coming to the UK, and if you don't go see him in the UK, I'm not coming back. How about that? Uh, how, yeah, I double dare you. So, yeah, he'll be in. Uh, Chaley's looking it up. So, yeah, Mishka will be there. I'm going to fall down. I'm going to have to go into fucking double, double uh, hibernation tomorrow. Work on taxes. Don't fall back into those old habits, Stan, he hope. <laughs> Don't let Brendan Walsh smoking via telephone. Queer you into uh, life of a. Do you want to read these? No. What? I, I, the dates. Just put the dates out. It's Chaley's birthday. We have to close on that. Mark, it starts March 9th in London. Goes to Where? Brighton. What? Where in London? TV. Just, t- give, give me the a, fucking a club website. Called TV. Give me the website. Mis- Mishkashubali.com. All right. Yeah, figure that out. It'll be Mishka. in the. Yeah, it'll be in That's, the show notes. Yeah, and Shubali, S H U B A L Y dot com. But it starts it starts March 9th and it ends up March 20th. Hug him. Hug him after the show and say, hey, Doug Stanhope told me to hug you. And uh, based on the amount of hugs, that will be my next uh, trip after another country I can't mention that's going to be in June. I, that's close to us up north. There's a. Uh, um, uh, Probably about 15. No, there's about 12 dates here. Uh, March 25th is the last date. And it's feature- my birthday. Your birthday. Yeah. And it features guest, special guest, Kate O'Reardon from the Pogues. Oh, oh your wife just went, oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. The Pogues. No, she fucking- just, she right, just, yeah. she just friended like a friend request to Kate because of, because of Mishka. All right. All right. This- and that's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, this is why we have the. You remember that bullshit podcast we had the, about the baseball? The, it was a bullshit, but it was. We didn't do it that day. That's why we we would have dropped that right now. But instead, we have to do a drunk podcast we're because we're fucking drunk. <laughs> and it's Chaley's birthday. He's almost fifty fucking years old. I, I'm I, I'm forty eight in three weeks, and that's fifty. I've been saying I'm fifty for a year. Just, just getting it over at forty seven. Um, that's the same as fifty, and it's fucked. D- Doug, we can't on, all be honestly, Gretchen. Is there any difference between now and twenty years ago? Yeah, twenty years ago, I remembered stuff. I, I had some ambition. But now, that's not you walking around now during the day. You only do it. That's like you scrubbing the bathroom, like to a sparkle clean. Yeah, I bleached the fucking bathroom. It's a filthy fucking bathroom. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I, 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 I there's a difference the ba- in you now. Yeah, I'm a fucking dude. I'm an old dude. Uh, I'm a homeowner. Twenty years ago, I guess you were living in your car. I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big difference. But it's and still, then I was it's, a it's renter, still, and now I'm a homeowner. It doesn't feel like you're fifty, though, right? No, it's a fucking. It's ridiculous life. 
it's all a number until the number is 50 and you're like, oh, that's an awful number. <laughs> Unless it's a coin flip, it's an awful number. <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm fucking terrified. But this American spirit has lasted this entire podcast. Yeah. And I, when I put it out, I know it's American spirits. What you smoke on your way to quitting smoking. That's it, by the way. We're dry after this. Yeah, I know. Not that I'm going to interfere, but I, I don't. Apparently, my interfering has worked out tonight. Again, don't be afraid to fucking panic and smoke a cigarette. Yeah. If you're if you're quitting smoking and you're like, oh, I I gotta smoke. Well, smoke. I did that last night, and then it was out of my system. I slept. I have never slept better. Without drugs, no Xanax. I slept for fucking like 10 Took the hours edge or... off so you don't need to smoke again for yeah. what, another 18 I hours? I didn't feel guilty in the morning. I felt like, uh, hey, I'm going to go stuff these cigarettes up Evelyn's ass. Funny. I dropped it yeah. off in her fucking mailbox. And uh, everything's good. Fucking, uh, someone sent me a book. <laughs> I- I'm just looking at shit. Uh, something about body language. Whoever sent me one of these things... I don't know if it's a rape trail. Someone sent a letter that I is is in the house. How I like I changed their life. I actually took it to heart. I I get these fucking things. Are you going to get it? Oh, good. Oh, is that? Oh, that's not it. No. Anyway, someone sent a letter with one of these fucking things, and it actually affected me. So thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. You're listening to you for fucking 20 years and you've changed my outlook on stuff and you get that stuff and it, it, you go, ah, bullshit, ah, blah, 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 blah. But you get enough of them. What? Word of the day. Oh, shit. Fuck. Word of the day. And a song. All right. Hit pause. There's, we don't, there's we, no pause. <laughs> there's no pause. Pause. We'll take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a break. That's what hit pause means. Hey, we're going to take a break and we're going to uh, come back sober tomorrow. <laughs> no, we'll be right back. Bonjour. I am Charlie Hebdo, and you're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Hey, do you ever go to Bisbee, Arizona, and you want a a free lunch? Go to Cafe Roca and ask for Keenan. Keenan will give you salmon uh, pizza. Flatbread. All right. (laughs) You're you're really good at this. Yeah, that won't. Hey, what time are they open for lunch? This is the word of the day. (laughs) All right. Fuck you. You do a podcast every goddamn day. All right, uh, this is the word of the day, is uh, deracinate, deracinate, deracinate. That means to remove or uproot by force. Deracinate. I am going to deracinate. All right, I don't even have. I can't, <laughs> you can't I, even fake no, it. No, <laughs> You're I am, looking at it. Fuck you. Read the example in the thing. You know, when I get to be your age... <laughs> Tell us what it's like to be closer to 50 than I am, Greg Chaley, with your weird hair. People at the only <laughs> night. Oh, Gretchen, you'll love this. We're at Cafe Roca tonight. We decided for. Bisbee's Ch- Fine Dining. For Chaley's big birthday party. We'll, we'll go to, uh, we went to uh, the only uh, good steakhouse <laughs> if you like to wear 70s suits. It's a 70s steakhouse. About 15 miles out of town, it's called the Bright Spot, and it's it's not, it's not bright at all. <laughs> but you can see where DUI laws ruined that place because <laughs> it's halfway between here and Sierra Vista, and it's everything 1970s. You you could see your dad peeling out as you s- slid back and forth on the back seat with no uh, seat belts. <laughs> on the bench seat. Yeah. yeah, and no one cared that your dad had too many fucking... That he was wasted yeah. driving kids home. Yeah. <laughs> that so, was up until three years ago. <laughs> so we ate there, and then we thought, well, let's go. Fred is the only guy I know as a bartender in this town that... 
would be excited to make you an old fashioned, a Manhattan. And he is, I, 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 I found him in the liquor section of at Safeway when I'm trying to find bitters and shit to make all this stuff. And I'm like, we're, we're, I'm, I'm drinking two drinks a day for this 30 day thing. So we're drinking a lot of old timey drinks. And he's like, well, this is what you need. And he made me buy shit. Like, well, there's, uh, what's the, uh, vermouth. Well, for a Manhattan, you need the red vermouth. And then for other thing, you need the, so I'm buying vermouth, which no one, like that's going to It'll last your lifetime. That bottle will last your lifetime. Exactly. And I have to buy two different kinds and they only have the <laughs> biggest size. And I go, we, we were going to come to Cafe Roca and have you make us old, old time drinks, but I didn't want to bother you because they're a pain in the ass to make. Oh, no, 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 please come. So we went there for Chaley's birthday and Fred is not working. <laughs> and now we have to bother that poor girl. So. It was awesome. She was great. She turned us on to, to the sidecar, which we never would have ordered. So we're talking to a guy named Lee, who's a Chinese customer. Yes. And he's sitting at the bar. He's a Chinese and uh, work for the railroad, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, racist? No, he wouldn't tell he us where he works, right? He just no, assumed he, he worked for the railroad. No, he works, he works for the government. Uh, the government railroad. He drank a full bottle of wine and then <laughs> drank a sidecar with us saying, no, no, actually I have to drive back to Sierra Vista. I'm like, holy fuck. I drank three drinks and I waited for Gretchen to drive us home. <laughs> I don't fucking drive drunk. I might cheat on cigarettes during rehab and even drinks during, I don't fucking drive. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that guy is probably on the side of the road. No, no. He's got diplomatic immunity. He's, he's, he's a, fucking, he's a million miler. He's, he's a, a million miler. Exactly. He works for the fucking International. government. Yeah, he works for fucking Fort Huachuca. Yeah, that no. guy's, he's deep into some shit. He was dropping uh, United Arab Emirates or something. He's dropping fucking frequent flyer miles. Yeah. We talk like George Clooney. No, you and two, you we two buddied up pretty good. Yeah. I, I, the point is, it looked like a hand job not, under the bar. He's for not a second worried there. about a DUI. No, he no, no. fucking throws out some yeah, yeah. badge and says, "Hey, listen, you know those drones? Yeah, I make them watch you at. <laughs> but you know when you're fucking your mistress? Yeah, my drone is outside your window. The point is, I'm not the drunk you're looking for. So, uh, what was my point about Lee? Oh, oh, oh. As I'm talking to Lee, who's never been to Bisbee, he's all fantastic about it because he's been staying in Sierra Vista, which is some fucking, it's like, uh, uh, what's a town? Killeen, Texas, outside of Fort Hood. Sierra Vista is like pawn shops and box stores and shit. It's the military town. So now he's at the, and I said, as I'm saying, I say this <laughs> sentence, I say, well, Cafe Roca is the only fine dining establishment in Bisbee. And as the finish of the sentence comes out of my mouth, <laughs> what's her fucking name? Don't say her name. A server. Yeah, one of the servers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was bleak. Comes, comes behind the bar and yanks half of her tits out and goes, ah! does the wiggle thing, yeah. like holding her, like each side yes. of her breast. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 a woman of our age, <laughs> lesbian, raspy voice, lesbian. Goes, ah! I go, this is the only fine dining establishment in business. She starts wiggling her tits at this poor Chinese. It was literally, as you said, biz B yeah. that she was down like low. <laughs> and it was like, she's like, look, like, this is a fine dining place. I'm going to go low on this one. <laughs> so like looking <laughs> down into fun. the, it was fucking great. All right. You're going <laughs> to, on the next podcast, you are going to hear me. You need a song. With uh, a lot of, uh, reticence. <laughs> is that the word? My voice. Apologies. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, I'm gonna be sad. Coughing. Uh, I I I would immediately go to a recent story that happened here in town, but I know I can't. Someone, your boyfriend, who felt remorse today. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Spitting typhus. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't wait to tell Chad Shank about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, guess yeah. what? Yeah, guess what? Something went down. I wasn't there. Yeah. Everyone considered him the coward of the county. <laughs> <laughs> but you could have heard a pin drop when Tommy stopped and locked the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some shit went on. We just heard about. That's what happens when you fucking lock yourself in a trailer. Shit goes down with people you could never have expected. All right, we're going to fucking close out on a song uh, somewhere oh, here. Oh, shit, I left the thing. Don't worry, I get a fucking song. Uh, so should we just, uh, you know what, let's fuck, I, I have to burn, because we have some multiple artists. and. Uh, oh, I know what you're going to do. Yeah, I'm, no, yeah. I'm, I got to go Warren Zevon. Mm. And uh, this is a song that, like, if I, if I thought I could <laughs> sing, this is one I... I it, if we had a, a band playing like we do for Super Bowl and I had to sing, this is, would be, I would try to do Warren Zevon's version of Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. Hit it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. 